Now, 6 a.m. on WKYT This Morning, a Lexington couple has their dogs to thank after an overnight home invasion. Good news for a Kentucky family who've been searching for a missing relative for days. And the Southern Kentucky community is rallying behind two businesses that were devastated by a major fire. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Top of the morning to you from the WKYT News Team. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Welcome in. Hope you have a fabulous Tuesday. It's feeling pretty cold as it is. is usual in February. <laughs> right. Here and there a flurry this morning, but it looks really good maybe by this afternoon. At least some sunshine to make you feel better. Here's meteorologist Micah Harris. Stretching over here, getting ready for the day. All right. Tuesdays are tough. I tell you what, I don't know why, but they are. Let's look outside. We already have seen a few flakes, a couple of flurries flying around. It's not going to add anything, nothing to be worried about, but just know you can see that. Right around 20 degrees in Lexington, 21 in Frankfurt. Some locations are in the upper teens. A little wind here and there is making it feel like the teens for most everybody this morning. So it is a bitterly cold start. 38 by the afternoon, mixture of sun and clouds. And then as we head toward tomorrow, tomorrow looks good. But the problem is that's out ahead of our next system. So Wednesday night into Thursday morning, that's when we will be tracking this next snow chance. And it could be a little bit better than what we have seen the past couple of times. And I'll show you that. We'll track the latest details coming up. All right. See you then. Let's get to the news. New this morning, we are tracking a crime alert after an overnight home invasion. It happened about 2 o'clock this morning in Lexington at a home off of Lakeshore Drive. The homeowners say their dogs helped to foil the crime. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live with details on this crime alert. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. That's right. The homeowners say it happened just before 2 o'clock this morning at their home on the corner of Lakeshore and Norburn Drive, which is near Henry Clay High School. The homeowners say they were asleep when they heard at least one person breaking in through the basement door. Police say that door was locked. The couple says the suspect then tried to open their bedroom door when their two dogs started barking. They say that scared the suspect away. However, police do say they made off with a few items before running out the front door. Now, thankfully, no one was injured in this home invasion and police are continuing to investigate. Live in Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. New this morning, state police say a missing Madison County man has been found safe. Curtis Rose of Waco was spotted around 3 o'clock this morning in West Virginia. A golden alert was issued when he went missing on Sunday. His daughter says he suffers from dementia and has disappeared before. Rose is in good health and is now uh, his family is there to headed to West Virginia to pick him up. Investigators have identified a woman found dead in Montgomery County, but how she died remains a mystery this morning. 22-year-old Katrina Craver's body was found Friday night on Nest Egg Road near Jeffersonville. Her father says that she and her boyfriend had gotten into a fight. He thinks she then walked out into the road and was hit by a car. Investigators say Craver did have head trauma, but they are not ready to say how she died. The family that operates a popular Laurel County restaurant that was destroyed by fire says they will rebuild. We were reporting live this time yesterday morning from Main Street in London as crews were working to contain that big fire at Weaver's Hot Dogs. The fire also damaged the clothing store next door. And now the community is stepping in to try to help both businesses. WKYT's Mark Barber is on our live desk to explain how they're doing that. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. The owner of London's Posh Boutique says it was hard to see the two well-known and well-loved businesses go down, and even harder to see 25 employees lose their jobs. So she's donating part of her sales on Thursday and Friday to help both businesses. There's also a GoFundMe page online that has raised $980 for the two dozen employees who worked at Weaver's. Smoke from the large downtown fire that destroyed the iconic restaurant heavily damaged the next-door clothing store, Bob's Ready to Wear. The businesses sat side by side on the corner of Main and 6th for 60 years. Weavers has been celebrated for its chili dogs since 1940, and as it became hugely successful, people say it became a part of London's identity. The mayor says the city will jump in to help the owners and their employees with whatever they need. And I know they'll be right back with us uh, helping run this city. So we just want to help the employees because they'll be out. Investigators are still trying to figure out what started the fire. Weaver's owner says he will rebuild. If you are looking for more information on how to help, visit our website, WKYT.com, for a link to their GoFundMe page. From the Live Desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. 
All right, Mark, thank you very much. Interesting to see the whole community stepping up there. Well, a Madison County woman was arrested after police say she nearly hit two employees with a car while shoplifting. Police say Kimberly Kirby stole items from the Richmond Kroger last week, and two employees tried to stop her. They say she sped off in a car, nearly hitting the employees. She is charged with robbery and wanton endangerment. A Central Kentucky snake expert is recovering after a life threatening bite. James Harrison is the director of the Kentucky Reptile Zoo in Powell County, which has one of the largest collections of venomous snakes in the world. He was extracting venom from a South American rattlesnake last week when something went wrong and the snake bit him. A co worker rushed him to the hospital, but on the way, Harrison stopped breathing. My eyes start drooping. As my eyes start drooping, they won't open. The throat starts closing a little bit, and then it goes down to your abdomen, shuts off your diaphragm, and you go into respiratory rest. Well, Harrison was given multiple doses of anti venom. He says he will be back to work soon. He says this is actually the ninth time he's been bitten by a venomous snake in the last 38 years. Yikes. Police are looking for the person accused of throwing large rocks at drivers. It happened yesterday along the Gene Snyder Freeway in Louisville. Police say three vehicles were damaged by flying rocks. One of the drivers said a rock shattered his window. Heard a loud pop, and I mean, glass went everywhere. As loud as it was, it sounded like a gunshot. So my first thought was somebody just shot this out of my vehicle. Mm, that driver says he saw someone throwing rocks from the median. Once arrested, police say that person will be charged with criminal mischief. It's another quick turnaround for the Kentucky Wildcats. They're back in action tonight. They host the Georgia Bulldogs this evening at Rupp Arena. It's their third game in six days. This is Kentucky's first game against Georgia this year. UK is looking to keep its undefeated winning streak alive. It's the Cats and Dogs tonight at 7 o'clock, and it will be on ESPNU. Time this morning is coming up on 6.07. All right, let's see what's happening on the roads. Not really hearing of any issues to speak of. Let's see what Officer Don can tell us with live drive traffic. Good morning, Don. Good morning. No, nope, not a whole lot of issues, just some leftover patches of ice here and there. There's a big slick spot on the inner loop of Man of War. Now, it's between Richmond Road and Beaver Creek, so just one place in particular to be extra careful. Let's get a look outside right now. We'll show you what to expect as you head out the door for work or school this morning with a live look at I-7564. Uh, that is a northern split. Exit ramps check out without any major issues. On our Waze map, uh, we're good to go with a wide view of the city on the inner and outer loops of the circle. Also, headed toward downtown. If you plan to be inbound uh, Richmond Road, also Alumni, and Nicholasville and Man of War, still one cycle to get through that big intersection. Now back to you in the studio. All right, and Officer Don and Deanna are on 98 won the Bull. When you get in your car this morning, have some fun with them. And it's good to have you with us, WKYT, this morning. Here on your Tuesday, we're just getting started. California is buzzing after a bizarre crash shut down part of a busy interstate. Next 48 hours, all about temperatures. Now, as you get after that, that's when we'll start to see some snow impact our region. So we have a few couple of days that are pretty good, and then not so much afterwards. And I'll show you your forecast coming up.